say she real. I know it's been a minute. Um, we had, well, I met you like earlier this year when you came to Camino 4 in Dallas. Uh huh. Yeah. It's been a minute, but yeah, I go by the name of DJ She Real. I know you probably don't remember, and I was probably really quiet at the meeting, but nice to meet you again. Yeah, nice to meet you, all of you. So, you, what you saying? You gonna talk a little more today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Right. Anytime I'm like in a big, you know, space or group, I'm usually just the observer, but... Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, I know this year has been like a really big year for you. You dropped, you know, you gave us two big projects, which uh -huh. is huge to me. Like, any artist that drops two projects and not just like 10 songs, you got like 20, 17 songs within one year. That means you really be grinding and working, so yeah. I really salute you on that. I appreciate it, most definitely. So, other thing I really want to know is, what was like your journey into like getting into music and rapping? Like, what yeah. is something you've been doing since you was a child, or is it something that you just stumbled across on? As a yeah, for sure. Um, honestly, my my brother and my um my dad used to make music, and it was like my motivation. You know, anything that they wanted to do was what I wanted to do. You know, so if my brother wanted to go, you know, um, play soccer, I want to yeah. play soccer. If he play basketball i want to play basketball football i want to play like you know whatever he did i wanted to do that was my motivation he was my motivation into you know becoming who i am today so you know that's really where it come from honestly yeah it seems i mean it seems real natural with you like when i listen to your music one thing that really like captures my ear is how you know how to like flow on the beat and yeah. like, hit certain pockets and things like that's a lot of things that i hear from artists that i feel like they be missing <laughs> as a dj no, you know? So like when I heard that, I was like, yo, you sound like he been rapping past your lifetime. Yeah. Um, honestly, uh, I, I, I can't really say where that come from. You know, um, sometimes like, you know, I say that I, I allow the beat to write for me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, um, if you listen to a beat, like it's it's almost like a beat speaks to you. Like you, you could kind of hear what a beat's saying. So honestly, like it don't, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I, yeah, the whole pocket thing, I don't know where it come from, honestly. Like, I, I just be letting the beat talk, for real. Yeah, it's really weird too, how you say that. It's like you become one with the beat, because there's times mm -hmm. where like, you can just hear it in your voice. Like, if the beat goes up in a certain note, your voice naturally yeah, for goes, so, for so. goes down. I just like, yeah. you know, got that. <laughs> I appreciate it, for so, for so. Well, I know you said, your dad and your brother, but is there any like artists that you grew up listening to like on repeat that kind of helped shape your sound or how you like to rap? Um, honestly, nah. You know, I ain't really grew up too much listening to music. The only music that I was really listening to was the music that was, you know, on, on MTV when I got up in the morning. Mm. Like, feel me, I ain't never really used to listen to music. I was, uh, I can't even too much remember my childhood days. Like, you know. <laughs> Uh, to be honest with you, so nah, like, it wasn't my musical influences, like I said, was just my brother and my dad, other than that, you know. Um, I mean, today, like, in this day and age, like, you know, um, a few artists that I like, uh, like Lil Baby Rideway, Polo G, Key Glock, um, you know, Dirk, um, to those people that, who music I care for nowadays, but... Like before then, it was like, you know, I just wasn't listening to nothing. Like I was, if music came out, music came out. I was out playing. I can't remember right. nothing. I'm like that too. Like I'm a DJ, but 90% yeah. of the time, I don't listen to music in the car. I don't listen to it in my free time. Yeah. And you know, people be like, well, how you don't pick up and catch on? And I'd have the same answer. I'd be like, I don't know. Yeah. For sure, I'm telling you, like, I don't know how it happened. Yeah, it's just, you really just, it's a gift. God yeah, it's definitely a gift. It's definitely a gift, for sure. Operate in it. When you operate in it, he just takes the wheel. So. Most definitely. Was there ever, like, a time where you kind of got, like, discouraged with, like, trying to get your music out and getting seen, or you always had this feeling, like, nah, when the time comes? Um, I never, I never got discouraged, you know. Sometimes, you know, I be having my days where I get a little bit down, but I never really got discouraged to the point where, like, you know, I don't know if this for me no more. And nah, I never got to that point because I always knew that, like, you know, it's still a, like, even till, till this day, like, it's still a whole world out there who don't know who I am. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's still a whole bunch of people who don't know who I am. And I still got so much more time to grow. I'm only 20. You feel what I'm saying? 
So I, I still got so much more time to grow. So, you know, for me to get discouraged when it's rappers out here who just making it when they 28, you feel what I'm saying? It's like anything possible, you know? For you to be only 20, you are like far beyond your years. But like, even when I hear yeah. music, um, I really like how you have different types of tracks. Like you can come with the hood stuff. You can come with like oh. the love stuff, you know, even some of your tracks sound a little bit like it could cross over. Yeah, for sure. So, like, you know what I mean? And that's really dope to me. Like it kind of keeps the ears fresh and it shows how like wide range mm. your talent is. And I really like that. You know, I on, like that. one song, um, Why You Think? Yeah, for sure. Oh my gosh, that's like one of my favorites. And it's not even, you're not even using your uh, melodic voice. Like you just- Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I appreciate it for sure, for sure. That's real, for <laughs> sure. So I also heard, I don't know, aren't you coming to Dallas like soon, December Yeah, 4th? yeah, I'm gonna be up there. I'm gonna be up in Dallas, December 4th, for sure. How are you with like performing? Do you get like, I turn up. You turn man. up, man. Listen, I be, I be in my body. Like, feel me out. Listen, I be, I be turned up. That ain't when I hit that stage. It's a whole different. I'm a whole different person. Like when I hit the stage, I'm, I'm toosy. When I get off the stage, you know, I'm back me. I'm not sure. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't know. I be chilling, but I like the stage. So when I hit the stage, I'm a different person. Stay, I, being on stage, like the only place you really could like you know, pop your shit and like, people not be like, oh, he cocky and I, I, nah, I can pop my shit on stage, I'm performing. So do you so, do any like rituals or something before you get on stage? Yeah, I pray. I pray, I, I, yeah, I pray before every show. I pray before I, I pray as soon as I get to the venue. Right. You know, like, Lord, let us, you know, let us get home safely. I ask that you allow to be, this to be a safe show, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, allow everybody to get home safely, I'll be praying. So I pray, I pray. I won't lie, I ain't even Muslim. I pray, I gotta pray like five times a day. No, same. Uh, like even in the middle of set sometimes, I'll just bust out yeah. my prayer. It's yeah, you gotta pray for sure. You gotta talk yeah. to God. The moment you forget God, you know, he reminds you for sure, for sure. Hold on, don't let me get on the spiritual tip though. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> So even with, you know, you performing, is this going to be your first performance since like the COVID stuff going on? No, I just, no. I just sold out Dallas. I mean, not Dallas. I just sold out Houston last Saturday. <laughs> like I'm talking about, I'm talking about it. The you know, capacity it had to be like, that's what I'm saying. I need to stay home. Like they keep booking me though. And my manager won't stop. He won't stop booking the shows. But, I just did a show in Houston that the capacity was like 600. It had to be like almost a thousand people in there. Eee. Yeah, like it did was- have, Did they have a bunch of people on stage or were you just, they make sure you- Man, yeah, stuff? it was people on stage and stuff. That's why, you know, man, that's what I'm saying, man. Hey man, you said your prayer, you gonna be okay. It's an evil world. <laughs> but not yeah. But yeah, 2020, how would you feel? I mean, obviously it's been working out good for you. Have you like, so like yeah. losing it? Like, I gotta get out the house, I gotta get on the road or? Nah, I like being in the house, I'm a homebody. Like, yeah. you know, my studio right here and everything. So all the music that I'll be recording, it all be coming from right there. Like, I don't even be, I don't like leaving the house for real, for real. Yeah. Only time I like leaving the house is when I like go grocery shopping and stuff. And I don't need to be doing that. My mom be doing that for me. Yeah, I, 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 cause I don't like leaving the house. I pay no, my mom. I pay my mom. 2020 has been, honestly, it's so weird to me because there's so many people who's posting like how much they hate it and how bad it is. Yeah. But to me, it's been, honestly, it's like one of the best years I've had or seen in a long time. Yeah. And it's so, so, it's such a weird, it's like a yin and yang. It's like as much, like stuff that's going on on the outside. Yeah. It's like, spiritually, it's been like so peaceful and so- Yeah, cool. for sure, for sure. It's so, so weird. If you're a person that keeps to yourself, that's how it is. Yeah. Well, last question I want to ask you is, what's like some more artists? I know you had Summer Walker on Love Cycle. Mm -hmm. What is like some more artists that you, you know, want to work with in the future? Uh, you know, one being Billie Eilish. Uh, Billy Eilish, I wanna work with John Legend. I wanna work with Louis Capaldi. I wanna work with uh, just different people, like people you would never imagine. Like I don't really care to work with, you know, any other rap artists. I feel like that'll come, but I wanna, I, I try to, I try to set big, big goals for myself. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, Billy Eilish, that'd be tight. Cause I know yeah. when I listen to um, Euphoria, 
Mm -hmm. That's what I was like. Yeah, for sure. Another artist and cross that over. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I be trying. I be trying. But yeah, I really appreciate it though. Thank you for taking time out to talk to yeah. me and get to know a little bit more about you. So I appreciate nah, it. Nah, for sure. I appreciate you, you know, for coming in and having a conversation with us. I'll see you in Dallas. Come to the show. Yeah, I'll be there. I bet. All right. Bye. All right.